You are the closest you shall ever be to Allah when you are making dua, especially in sajda. And our Prophet Sallallahu encouraged us to make dua. So many traditions, he said, Nothing is more noble in the eyes of Allah than the act of dua. Hadith is in Tirmidhi. There is no deed that will bring you more nobility, raise your ranks than the act of dua. And our Prophet Sallallahu told us, dua is the essence of worship. And he told us, Allah gets angry at the one who doesn't make dua to them. The one who doesn't make dua to him, Allah gets angry at him. We're supposed to make dua for each and everything. It should be a constant reality of our lives. Never make dua with your tongue only. You have no idea what you're saying. You're just repeating words in a book. This is not dua. Dua comes from the heart. And that is why our scholars mention, listen to this carefully. A dua made in your native language from the heart is more powerful than a dua in Arabic that you find in a book and you don't know what it means. Nonetheless, there are specific du'as that our Prophet ﷺ would make about his heart. I'll mention a few of them, of course, as usual, time is limited. Number one, our Prophet ﷺ would regularly make du'a to Allah. Ya muqallib al-qulubi thabbit qalbi ala ta'atik. O oh, you who causes the hearts to fluctuate. Ya muqallib al-qulub. The hearts are all not the same. Sometimes Iman is strong, sometimes Iman is weak. Sometimes our khushu' is very high, sometimes it is very low. So, O oh Allah, you're aware of this. O oh Allah, your qadr causes all of this. O oh Allah, I'm asking you, Ya Muqallib al Qulub, thabbit qalbi. Make my qalb firm ala ta'atik in constantly worshipping you. You're making dua to Allah to make your heart firm. This is the first dua. The second dua, hadith in Sahih Muslim. Beautiful dua, explicit about tazkiyatun nafs. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would make dua to Allah. Allahumma aati nafsi taqwaha. Oh Allah, give my nafs the taqwa that it deserves. Oh Allah, make my nafs have the taqwa that it is befitting. Oh Allah, make my soul have taqwa. Then what? Zakkiha. Purify my qalb, oh Allah. Anta khayru man zakkaha. None can purify except you. You are the one who purifies. Anta waliyuha wa mawlaha. You are its wali. You are the one who is in charge. You are the one who is in charge of all of the affairs. You are my mawla. You will take care of me, oh Allah. One more dua that we'll mention also in Sahih Muslim. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa' wa min qalbin la yakhsha'. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you. I don't want this, oh Allah. Don't give me this. Don't give me what? Knowledge that doesn't benefit my heart. Knowledge that is dry. Knowledge that I know and don't act upon. I don't want that. I want knowledge that is beneficial. And oh Allah, I don't want a heart that doesn't humble itself in front of you. I don't want a hard heart. I want a soft heart, O oh Allah. I seek refuge in you. A'udhu bika. I'm turning to you, O oh Allah, because I don't want this. I'm scared of this. I'm scared of a heart that doesn't have the khushu' the taqwa. It doesn't have the softness it should have. It sees all the miracles. It has all the blessings and it doesn't care. I don't want that type of heart, O oh Allah. I seek refuge in you, O oh Allah, from that heart. I want a heart that is soft. I want a heart that is pure.